Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video showing off our new Bren 2 extended bolt catch. Uh, this is a drop-in replacement for the bolt catch that is currently in the system. As you can see, it's currently in the trigger guard. Uh, this new system uh, basically extends out the bolt catch so you can actuate it with your pointer fingers kind of from the side, almost like the, uh, the Magpul ACR. So I'm going to show you how to disassemble uh, the lower to make sure you can pull out the, the bolt catch that's currently in there. And yeah, so let's get to it. Um, I do have the roll pin already punched out um, and just set in there with a pin just so it's easier. I can show how to do this on camera. Um, so let's get going. So the first thing you can do is, like I said, you can punch out the roll pin in here. I'm just going to take out this pin I have in here. A 330 second punch works great. Um, you can punch that right out. So what will happen then is your bolt catch will come lift right out of the top. You can see it's, there's a hole in there, kind of a slot. Um, and your bolt catch, or excuse me, your plastic bolt catch there, uh, will come out of the top. However, you have to take out the magazine release. Uh, so with the bolt catch that we just took out, there is the bolt catch detent, which falls out of the side. And then the spring is also in there. This is very much like the AR-15. Uh, that might stay in there. So we're just going to set these parts off to the side for now. So... Now, the magazine release, like I said, the magazine release is almost, almost like the AR-15 as well. You just need to push the button all the way over, rotate, unscrew this to the left. It does help to have a big punch to kind of push on the magazine release there. You will then unscrew it. Magazine button will come right out. There you can see, there's the spring. And then, like I said, the magazine release is just like an AR-15. And there's the arm with the, the magazine catch there. Uh, the ambi control position does not come out. That's held in by a roll pin there. So you don't need to worry about that. And so now the plastic bolt catch lifter there will just lift right out of the top. So there we go. Um, I'm just going to set the lower aside for a second. So now we have our two... Um, bolt catches. Here's the factory one that comes with the, the lower, and here's our new uh, extended bolt catch. Um, as you can see, you can kind of tell the differences between the two. Um, this one does take up basically the same profile. It just has what we call kind of wings on the on the uh, outside that'll fit kind of over the tr the uh, trigger guard there, and just extend it a little bit. So the difference with ours is it is two pieces. As you can see here, there's the lower piece where the uh, the wings are, and then here's the upper piece, um, as you can see. So, to install this, I'm going to set the factory one off to the side here. Uh, to install this, you will take your uh, lower half, you will lift it and slide it up into the top here. So there's a gap, this, this uh, bolt catch lifter rides on rails, as you can see there's a little kind of rail section to it. If you go to the top of the trigger guard in here, there's a gap in the rail, so you can slide that down in and slide your lower half all the way down, just like so. Um, your upper half will just basically drop in down from the top, as you can see. Just make sure you grab those rails on the inside, and then with the two uh, tabs in there, you kind of just push, and it snaps together, just like so. So as you can see, you have your bolt catch lifter riding pretty freely in there. And then you will just take the Allen wrench that comes in with the, uh, the package, um, and you'll just tighten down the screw in, or the set screw. Uh, just get it flush to the surface um, of the bolt catch lifter. You do not need to tighten this down. Um, like I said, you just want to get it flush to the surface. If you tighten it down a little bit, you will kind of spread the two halves apart um, and put a little friction on the inside. So like I said, you just need to get this flush, which I'm about there. It is kind of tedious because you don't have a, you can't get a large range of motion when you're tightening this down. And so we'll give it a little bit more. It's right there, like I said, just till it's flush and just, you know, function check it, make sure it's 
um, running pretty good. And then, yeah, so just to show function, we can take the bolt catch. You will kind of put it vertical, hook it over the uh, bolt catch lifter. Forgot to put my detent in there. Put your detent in. Slide the roll the bolt catch lip or bolt catch down over, and then you can take the punch that you had or the um, Allen wrench that it came with. Just push it through the hole. Do that really quickly there, as you can see. And then all you just want to make sure is that it's snapping up and down pretty easily. Uh, let's go top view. You can see that it's just lifting the bolt catch up nice and freely. And then when you push the bolt catch on the side, it's doing the same thing. So, yep, this thing will give you kind of controls on the outside so you don't have to get your finger in here. Uh, it does seem a lot better um, trying to get your finger in here and trying to lift up the bolt catch with uh, at the top there is kind of awkward. Keeping your finger down at the side is much better. And then if you want to release it, I'm just holding it with my finger here. You can just press it right down. So, yep, extended bolt catch, like I said, just kind of... Uh, has wings at the bottom that kind of flare it out a little bit. You can, uh, it's very similar to, I guess, the Robinson Armament uh, XCR and then like kind of the, the Magpul AC or the, excuse me, the uh, Remington ACR um, kind of has very similar controls to that. So, yep, that is our uh, extended bolt catch lifter. Uh, you will just need to reverse the process for the magazine release. I'm not going to do that on camera since that is kind of difficult. All you have to do is just make sure you're uh, magazine release is set up properly slide that back through take the spring put it back in there put your button on and then like i said you probably will want a big punch or something like that to try and hold the uh um button down pretty far it is kind of difficult to redo so it might take you a few minutes or a few few tries to get it uh once you get it you know it's, it's obviously back to normal and then you will put your uh, uh punch or your pin back in um, like I said, I'm not going to do that on camera either. Uh, you can put that in before you do the magazine release. Um, it doesn't really matter the, the steps. Just the magazine release does need to come out because it will not, um, the bolt catch lifter will not come out of the lower without that. Just because of the uh, kind of elbow or dog leg there, uh, that clears the magazine release right here where my thumb's at. Um, so you, like I said, you will need to take out the magazine release to take this out of the lower. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And you see it works pretty good. Um, these will be dropping pretty soon, so stay tuned to the website and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.